the leggings those leggings will work Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all well. It's moi, you're today savage. Thank you for joining me. It's been a beautiful day today, honestly. Um, so welcome. As you can see from the title, it is a, a haul. I decided to do compare and contrast. Now, I thought I like Zara because I can fit in Zara now. But, but you know, this time two years ago, I could not fit into any Zara clothing. So I decided to do a haul based on my two favorite stores right now, which is Sheen and Zara. I am in love with Sheen. It is gorgeous. TikTok made me do it. TikTok made me do it. Mm. Now, before I get into it, don't forget to subscribe. Press the bell so you'll be notified when I pop my next video. Like the page and also share this content with your loved ones and your people. You know, sharing is caring. And I have to say, thanks again guys for keeping up with me, watching my videos. I've literally had a thousand views. I honestly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And if you're new, welcome. Follow me on this journey. Let's do this to guide her. Yes, I love you guys. Thank you. Okay, so I bought stuff from Sheen and Zara. Not too much because I just wanted to test it out. This is the first time I'm doing this kind of thing. And I made sure they looked at least very similar or exactly alike. So even if it's like a colour or two, you know, I could still work with it. But I wanted them to look identical, but not all of them could. So, mm, um, some of the qualities were, mm, some of them were okay, some of them were... Um, mm. the Zara jacket, that brown jacket, it's amazing. I love that jacket. That jacket is amazing. I love it. Gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It is thick. It's heavy. It is very, very heavy. I like the inner lining. And it was really padded, quilted. It's a jacket that would, it's a, sorry, why do I keep saying jacket? It's a coat that would definitely keep you warm during the winter. And as you guys know, the UK ain't playing. It is freezing out here. It is cold, cold. I personally like this jacket. I think it's a winner already. Yes, I, I gave it the winning prize already. Um, now, if you can see the, the sheen one, I like it. I have worn it out and I will post a picture of that on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram to see it. I'll put my details there and in the description box. <laughs> um, I do like the sheen jacket more. Only because... Hmm, hmm, okay, I like them to, on the same balance. They're equal to me. Hear me out. The sheen jacket costs £23. But the Zara jacket cost £69 or six, I think it was £60, £60 or £70, one of the two but I can't remember but I will put the details in the description box. I like the Zara one because of the quality, the quality is there but I like the Sheen one because of the colour and the length. The Sheen one was a bit more longer and I just like that style, it just, it made me, it, it, it made me look shorter but I know when I wear heels, it will make me look longer. That's the only reason I ignored that bit because I like it and I like the colour a lot. I felt like the, the Zara jacket, I mean the Zara coat, the colour wasn't really working for me personally. I don't know, maybe it's just me overthinking it, but let me know. Put a comment, let me know. The jumpers. Absolutely loved the Sheen and Zara jumper. The Sheen jumper 
that cost £15 and it's nice and thick it actually is really warm and I like the Shein one more than the Zara the Zara one is nice as you can see it is so soft so 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 soft and I love that the Zara one cost £30 29.99 you know how Zara is with the bougie with the 99p's and stuff like that but the Zara one was 29.99 the Shein one was £15 and I believe with the Shein you also get a discount and vouchers I don't know how to use the vouchers but I definitely know how to use the discount I know that's right <laughs> I know that's right babe I made sure I put two discounts in there and it was actually physically possible. I did not know I could, but it worked. So I think I got the jumper for like £10. Now, I love this jumper simply because of the turtleneck. This is how long the turtleneck is. You can fold it. I can fold it once or twice, but I don't have a long neck, as you can see. I've got a chubby neck, but I don't have a long neck. Now, if you have a long neck, this works even more, but you won't be able to fold it in twice. You can only fold it in once if you have a long neck. I love that. It is gorgeous. This is a, a proper turtle neck, which is what I couldn't do with the Zara. I could only scrunch it. You know, as you can see, it was only scrunch. Like, you can only scrunch it. No. This one, I was able to fold. So, I really got my money's worth with this. I love it. And I love the colour. It's not too dark. The camera makes it look a lot lighter. But it's actually quite dark. It's darker than the Zara one. The Zara one is just as nice. I love the softness. It's just that it's shorter. So I wasn't really feeling that. Whereas the sheen is longer and it's nicer. For me personally. And the kind of things I like to see on myself. So I definitely like them both. But I think the sheen one definitely won for me. Personally. Mm yeah now as you can see i paired it with the leather leggings <sighs> those leggings will work it took me a while to get my kebab legs in there but i got it in there and it looks scrumptious i look good in those trousers now the sheen one is leather leggings but the Zara is leather trousers. I didn't know that. Now, I personally like them both. As you can see, the Zara one is nicely fitted. It's not, it doesn't, it's ankle swingers. So it doesn't go all the way to the floor. I like that. Pair, you can pair it with anything. Trainers, heels, it works. Um, I, did, I do like those trousers a lot. It's gorgeous. Um, and what I like the most about it, let me just show you, it has suede inside, so it actually will keep you warm. I've worn them out and it kept me very, very warm. I love these trousers, they're amazing. But I don't know why it's called trousers, because to me it looks like leggings, but when I was checking on the website, it actually called, it, they were called trousers, so I don't know, but... It is what it is. I love them. And I love the fact that it has buttons and clip and zip. And it cinched, it cinched in my waist. It really cinched in my waist. A waist that I did not know was there. You know. It looked like it was disappearing on me because of the lockdown and Christmas. But it really gave me a waist. However, it was tight on my stomach. I had to do a bit of a victory dance. You know, cry baby, because I didn't want to cry baby about it, but it was tight. Like, look at that. I like all of that. And it's got the buttons. Where's the button? Oh, yeah. So he's got the button. So the button is lower so that it can come in. So the trousers itself kind of has a V shape that I like. I really like these trousers. It's gorgeous. Um, I think it's worth it. Um, the Zara trousers cost. $15.99 and I got it in an XXL so that's a size 18 equivalent love these trousers and what I love even more is it doesn't make the chafing noise it did not make any chafing noise I can wear this and no one can hear me coming if you have big thighs like me that is the one fa fair factor that is a fair factor when you're plus size it's a fair factor 
even if you're not like extremely big like myself even being like a size 12 guys be real ladies let's be real even a size 12 you get a bit of chafing you know what i mean this does not have that you don't make no noise you can walk and people don't need to know that you're there i love these trousers and for the fact that it was only 16 pounds from zara it's a winner i personally feel like it was just end of discussion it was a winner for me i will or i will say the sheen one was just as nice i love the sheen one because it had the zip on the side and it's inner zip it's an inner zip so you can't even see it i love inner zips but they do not love me i really love inner zips it just gives it a bit of a mwah that i like and it also has a hook inside however it did come tattered when i got it so i wasn't really impressed with that it was already tattered and a bit torn so i think the person that worked before me might have had a bit of trouble it's okay we've all been there i do like these trousers however it doesn't have any kind of inner warmth so that's just literally it there's nothing to it and this actually cost me 23 pounds yes the one from sheen cost 23 it is the same length it's the same style but i don't know why this cost 23 and zara cost 16 so take what you want from that the one thing i will say as well is one thing i don't like about these ones however is they chafe they chafe people could hear me if i was walking i did not like that one bit because i think i want to be comfortable but i don't want to be heard does that make sense i don't want people to know that i'm coming just because i'm walking in the building like i want you to see my presence not hear my presence i don't know if that's me being bougie or just me being i don't know but whatever yeah i didn't like that because it makes so much noise can you hear it now That is how, like, when I was walking, it sounded a lot worse. So I did not like that. And this cost me 23, but the Zara cost me uh, 16. And the Zara is thin, uh, thick leather. It's soft leather. So you don't hear it. Like, see what I'm saying? So if you're looking for any like nice leggings or trousers that you don't want to you know be making all those kind of rustic noises between your thighs i would say go for the zara just personally that's just my choice now i paired it again with the blue shirts now i've got two different blue shirts simply because i could not find my size from sheen so the blue shirt from zara it's an oversized shirt it's blue it's nice it's, it was 16 pounds it's gorgeous i love it it's a bit too big so i think i'm gonna try and change it for a smaller size if i can find any hopefully i can i love that kind of look it just looked gorgeous i love that um shirt beautiful and the sheen one is more fitted and more classy and i like that as well i really did the only thing is I didn't like the shininess it was too shiny a bit too shiny however in saying that when i was wearing it i noticed it looked really nice it did look nice when i wore it but i just don't know how i felt about the shininess let me know what you think maybe it's just me can you see what i'm saying it's like quite shiny do you guys think that's okay let me know put a comment in the comment section i do think this one is definitely good for work the sheen one was gorgeous i could not find for the life of me could not find an oversized blue shirt on sheen they have so much clothes so much to go through and i feel like sometimes they even get a bit lost because i could not find anything compared to what i got from zara like i was really looking for a blue shirt like the zara one and i couldn't find any and I was trying to then look for this kind of shirt on Zara. I couldn't find my size. The only one they had of this was black. So it wasn't working. But all in all, I just wanted you to see how they both look. And for me personally, I think I like the Zara. And now that I'm looking at it, I think now that I'm looking at it, I think I definitely like the Sheen one now. It's just that I felt like it was a bit too shiny when I wore it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know. 
maybe it's me overthinking it hmm. Hmm. but yeah i like it it's not too bad and the blazer 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 now i love blazers now i never liked them in secondary school because it was compulsory but as a grown woman, I really like blazers now. I have different kind of blazers and I just, it works. It just finishes an outfit. I love it. You can wear it casual, smart, um, events. You can do this. Evening wear. It's just gorgeous. It's an all-rounder. It really is an all-rounder. So I have velvet, blue, green, pink. Folder! Yeah, but I don't have leather. So I decided to buy a leather blazer. Now this Zara leather blazer is size XXL. Jesus Christ, that's how you know I'm big. XXL. Okay, I had to count how many X's. Sorry, but but you know what I mean. Um. Okay. So the leather blazer. Okay. I love leather blazers. I no. What am I saying? I like blazers. I didn't like it in secondary school because it was compulsory. But I really like them now as a grown woman because it's my choice. I have every kind of blazer. I've got velvet, different colours, but I don't have leather. So I decided to buy a leather blazer from Zara and Sheen. And I'm really happy with what I've got. Gorgeous blazers. Now, the Zara one, as you can see, is nice and thick. And it is coated well. As in, it is thick. It has inner lining, it's padded, the pockets are deep, like my thoughts. It was perfect. And they're actually doing a sale right now. I believe I got it for £60, but now it's £40. And I can't exchange it because it's out of date. But that's okay. So, yeah. I got it for £60, but now it's £40. And I believe they're going to do more sales for the reduction. So you might want to buy it or you might want to wait. It just depends on you. But if you wait any longer, it might be out of stock. I'm not sure. But I definitely feel like that blazer is worth every penny. It's thick. It's nice. It's coated well. Amazing. And then the Sheen blazer. As you can see, I paired them exactly the same with the turtleneck. The turtleneck is not from any of the stores. That's my own turtleneck that I actually got from ASOS. Um, I just thought I wanted to make it as uniform as possible. Now, the Zara one, I like. I paired it with the Zara leather, leather trousers. I like that look. And I also like the sheen look. The only issue with the sheen blazer is that it came really crumpled. So, the sheen leather blazer really nice as well it also has padding i like it it doesn't have the buttons on the side however it's a nice leather blazer it does make the noise i don't like that but it's still not bad it's got lining as well however it came to me really crumpled as you can see in the picture as well it came very crumpled um You can't iron this out, can you? So I might have to steam it out. I don't know. I wasn't really a big fan of this one. It's really thin. It's really, really thin. But you have to understand, this one cost me £25. Um, and that's before the discount. It doesn't have pockets, even though it sh looks like it does. But it doesn't actually have any pockets. So there are no pockets there, but it has a little flap. I've never understood why they do that. It's either you give me the pocket or you don't. I don't like it when people do this. I feel like manufacturers that do this are really criminals because you de you're deceiving me. Guys, please stop doing this. It's annoying. It's either you have the pockets or you don't. Don't give me a facade. The facade is there. I don't like it. That's cheating. Cheating, yeah. I don't like it. Let's stop doing that for 2021, yeah? As you can see, it's very crumpled. And I, it actually came like this. It came very crumpled. I think for me, um, in terms of the leathers, 
I would give that to Zara. If you're looking for something really good quality that you feel like you know, you know it could last, I would go with the Zara. Only because it's soft leather, it's strong, it's tailored well, soft material, it's beautiful, it finishes well as you can see in the pictures. They look good. But there are some really gorgeous pieces from Sheen. I love the jacket. The turtleneck was amazing. The blue shirt, I'm starting to w get onto it. You know, I'm starting to warm up to it. I, I think I like it more than I like the Zara oversize, I know. But they both kind of work. I like, I did like these pieces. I really did. Let me, you know, I can't like, I really did like these pieces. Guys, let me know which one you liked. Put a comment in the comment below let me know and if you want to see more of it also let me know thank you guys for watching i hope this was informative and i hope you enjoyed me wait enjoyed me does that sound right <sighs> guys i don't know what i'm good i'm done i don't know what i'm doing okay so i hope that was informative if it was let me know put a comment in the comment section if you want to see more of this kind of compare and contrast, also let me know through the comment section. And thank you guys for watching. Au revoir.